It's Positively Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly today down at the YMCA on 3rd Street. We've got Melissa Wickman here. That's right, Wickman? Wickman. Got yeah. it right. Hey, <laughs> we are down here today to talk a little bit about this event coming up at the Muskegon Country Club, Black Tie for the Y. This is a dress up affair. It can be. Yeah. Uh, people dress all levels. Black tie is certainly optional and it's February 11th at 6 p.m. We've done it for Oh, a couple of decades. Is it, is it going on yeah, that long? Yeah, it's gone that long. What's the purpose of the event? I mean, the YMCA, well, first of all, let's talk about the YMCA. Yep. There seems to be some confusion in town. A little bit. People are going, well, it's not the YMCA anymore. Right. But it is. It is. So uh, we sold our building down yep. on Western Avenue on the lake in October of 2015 to Muskegon Community College. Okay. It is now the Lakeshore Fitness Center. We, um, we are not linked with that facility anymore at all. Okay. We are now considered a uh, non-facility Y, one, one of roughly 200 of those in the country. So, so, so it's not unprecedented? Nope, not at all. Not at all. Um, so we, uh, we work out of this hub okay. on 3rd Street and we operate programs in about 25 sites throughout the county. Like what kind of programs are you guys up to now? Uh, we have three different major things that we do. Um, one is what we call healthy out of school time okay. and that is uh, physical activity and nutrition education for kids of all ages. Um, primarily we'll do elementary, but we do for them on the middle school and high school as well. We do that um, at Muskegon Middle School, we do it at Nelson, we do it at, in the Reese Puffer District, we've got a couple programs going on over there. So you're there. strongly engaged. Yeah, strongly yeah. engaged and really focused on helping um, address the root causes of childhood obesity and sure. getting kids healthy little from the start. Yeah, something I could have used. <laughs> Everybody could use it. Look at me now, right? <laughs> Uh, we also have a summer recreation program that's really strong. Um, we will be in our sixth year this year. We had about 644 kids from Muskegon, primarily Muskegon, Muskegon Heights registered for that. We get about 350 kids a night at Muskegon High School. No um, kidding. We, partnership, we partner with them to do that. So that's mainly our youth stuff. Um, we also do a safety around water program for third graders. Fun. And that's a five week curriculum to make sure that kids understand how to handle all the water, all the beautiful water that sure. we have in this community. And it's something that needs to be addressed. People don't stop and think about that kind of stuff. We're so, you, we're so used to it just being here yeah. that you don't often stop and think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, it, and it's, it's such an asset for our community, but can, can be deadly, frankly. And sure. It's, it's, a, it's a leading cause of accidental childhood death. Sure. So we're serious about it. Um, we reach about 49% of third graders in Muskegon. Our goal is 100%. Sure. Every third grader every year. And then the final sort of chunk of, um, and we do that by the way at both Muskegon High School's pool and the Lakeshore Fitness Center's pool Okay. Um, with our partners there. We also do chronic disease prevention and management for adults. Um, three primary programs. One is a diabetes prevention program. I gotta go. Sugar. Sugar. <laughs> sugar is, I'm telling you, sugar is the new crack. I, 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 can't, I can't quit. It's tough. It's terrible. It's tough. Shame on me. That's a, uh, that's a year long um, lifestyle modification course. Right. Where, where we have a, court, uh, a coach teaching these folks and working with these folks for an entire year. And let me tell you something. I mean, and I, I kind of laugh a little bit about addiction and sugar and all that kind of stuff. You didn't get into this problem overnight. Exactly. And you're not going to get out of it overnight. Exactly. You know, yep. a little alcohol wasn't behind me that <laughs> I know how this works. It takes some time. Exactly. Yeah. So that's why it's a year because we need that to, to, to your point. Change like, your mind. Yeah, change your mind, change your behaviors, and not do it all in one go because it's not sustainable. So um, that's one of our programs. Another one is called Live Strong with the YMCA. Okay. That's in partnership with the, the, the Live Strong Foundation. And that is a post-cancer fitness program, so okay. cancer survivors only. Uh, we don't charge for that because we know that cancer survivors have had bills oh, yeah. um, um, pile up. And we run that at the fitness center at Muskegon Family Care. And that's been an amazing program. So all of this stuff is going on with the YMCA, yep. even though there's not a building anymore. Exactly. And, and Never that, left. What that means for people that participate, people that donate, and people that engage is that the money goes directly to programs. Sure. We don't have to worry about an aging building or a leaky roof Heat or a the broken pool. treadmill. None of that. None of that. It goes right to program. So we're really fortunate. The benefit now. Country yes. Club, yep. big night, black tie yep. affair if you so choose. Yep. What do we find at this uh, event? Uh, we have, oh gosh, it's it's a kind of a festival. So we have a, a silent auction. Okay. Um, we have a live auction. Okay. We have a beautiful meal. Um, and uh, there's just a lot of activity sort of going on throughout that, throughout that, um, kind of venue. It's sure. a beautiful venue. It's great. Um, we love, we've worked with them for many years and we love working with them. 
people are love to get dressed up and just have a good time. It's sure. a great party for a wonderful cause, and that benefits not only the YMCA, but YMCA can't put the loo on as well, which is another branch. Well. I got to tell you, you know, when I was a kid, uh, I was 21, <laughs> and I saw an ad in the paper, and it said, be a camp counselor. Yeah. And I thought, okay, I'll give this a whirl. So I applied, and, and I got in, and I was a YMCA camp counselor at Camp really? Optimist. Nice. And it was such a perfect experience and such a perfect summer and so much I learned so much about myself that year and, and I almost hate to say this I didn't go back because it was so perfect could not top it I there was no way that summer could have been topped yeah. I met friends that I still have to this day I, I learned that I, I had a, a a way of dealing with kids that are different mm -hmm. you know my, my first group of kids had three autistic kids in it and back then there was mainstreaming them and uh, the autistic kids all came back at the end of the year. It was just the most overwhelming thing I'd ever been a part of. And I, you know, I, I say it that I should have gone back and done more, but it was such a perfect life lesson and it, it, just amazing. Yeah, Never went to camp as a kid, really. So sure. just to be a counselor first, it was great. It was a Y camp. It's, it's life changing and, um, and our campers stick with us. They yeah. become, campers become counselors in training, become- CIT. Yeah, become, <laughs> become counselors, I remember. Become alumni, become, um, we, we have a, a segment of our business up there where people go up there and they hold weddings. Yeah. So we have campers getting married at, at where they met. It's a great thing. It's really amazing. We'll put the link for tickets and information and everything here on uh, Positively Muskegon. Great. Black Tie for the Y is coming up at the Country Club. If you want to benefit a fantastic organization, do it with the Y. Ticket information is all right here. You did see that? You're all nervous before we started. <laughs> Look how good you did. Piece of cake. Melissa, thanks so much. Thank you. Everything's here on Positively Muskegon.